In reliability engineering, there is a metric called reliability importance. In this video, I want to give an intuitive explanation of this concept. Okay, let's start with the definition of reliability importance. The reliability importance I sub Ri of a component I is defined as the partial derivative of Rs with respect to Ri, where Rs is the reliability of the system and Ri is the reliability of component I. Now, to get an intuitive understanding of what this means, let us start with some very basics. A function fx can be thought of as a machine that takes an input x, does some processing of that input and produces an output y. Now imagine we put a scale on each side of the machine. We put one on the left side and one on the right side. Moreover, we let the input x point to the left scale and the output y to the right scale. Let's now assume that the function is defined on the real numbers. This would mean that each one of these scales would be the real number line. The machine now works as follows. If we take the input and move it up or down the scale, this changes the value of the input. Changing the input to the function fx then leads to changes in the output. As a concrete example, imagine that the function doubles its input. This would mean that if we move the input x from 0 to 1, then we would have a corresponding change in the output of the function. The input 1 would be multiplied by 2 and the output would move to the number 2. This is then an intuitive understanding of how a function works. Now, in this model, the derivative of the function fx would basically be a measure of how much the output y moves up and down, that is how much range it covers on the number line, when we move the input up and down. So if the function is a function with a small derivative, like for instance x over 1 million, then changes in the input would lead to tiny changes in the output. If, on the other hand, the function fx is a function with a large derivative, like for instance 1 million times x, then changes in the input would lead to massive changes in the output. Let's now see how all this can help us understand what reliability importance means. Imagine we have designed some system like a car, airplane, computer network, whatever. Further, assume, to keep things simple, that the system is composed of just two components, component 1 and component 2. Now, the reliability of the system, Rs, will be a function of the reliability of the first component and the reliability of the second component. So, let us draw a machine for this function. This machine will have two inputs. The reliability of the first component and the reliability of the second component. And the output of this function machine will be the reliability of the whole system. As before, let us attach a scale to the inputs and to the output. Since the inputs and the outputs are reliabilities, which are probabilities, these scales only cover the range from 0 to 1. With this, we have our new machine set up. Now, if we move the reliability of one component, for instance, the reliability of component 1, the machine will process this new reliability and move the 
reliability of the whole system correspondingly. We could obviously also change the reliability of the second component and see what effect it has on the output or change the reliability of both components simultaneously and see how that changes the reliability of the whole system. Now it should be easy to understand what reliability importance measures. Remember its definition. Reliability importance of a component is the partial derivative of the reliability of the system with respect to the reliability of that component. For instance, the reliability importance of component 1 is the partial derivative of the reliability of the system with respect to the reliability of component 1. In terms of our machine, the reliability importance of component 1 is therefore a measure of how much the reliability of the system changes when we change the reliability of component 1. Similarly, the reliability importance of component 2 is a measure of how much the reliability of the whole system changes when we change the reliability of component 2. Reliability importance therefore allows us to rank the components by how important they are for the reliability of the whole system. For instance, imagine we change the reliability of component 1 just slightly, but as a result the reliability of the whole system varies a lot. Then component 1 is obviously very important for the final reliability. On the other hand, imagine we change the reliability of component 2 just a little bit. But this only has a tiny effect on the reliability of the whole system. Then component 2 is not very important in terms of the reliability of the whole system. Using the reliability importance as a metric, we can therefore rank the components of a system by how important they are for the final reliability of the whole system.